The movie begins with a man stands on a baseball field. Behind him, there is a table covered with a white cloth and guarded by a woman. In front of him, there is a white cloth stretched out. On the edge of the field, there are spectators, referees, and cameramen. Soon the referee raises a yellow flag. The woman standing next to the table removes the white cloth that covers it. On the table, there are various weapons such as bows, arrows, scissors, axes, knives, and hammers. The referee raises a green flag to signal the start of the match. A yellow spotlight turns on. The white cloth that is stretched out is also removed. Behind it, there is an opponent. The enemy from across shoots an arrow. The man falls behind the table and gets hit by an arrow. He still manages to survive. He grabs a knife and then runs and attacks his enemy. Then he stabs him repeatedly until he dies. The opponent that he killed has the same face and physique as him. The referee approaches him and asks if he is the original or the clone. Then he answers that he is the clone. The show is called Duel. It is a fight to the death between an original human and his clone. Because according to the law, only one of them is allowed to live. The story switches to a woman named Sarah who has just bought some Mexican food. She ignores an incoming call from her mother. When she arrives home, Sarah watches an adult movie on her laptop. Soon after, she receives a video call from Peter, her boyfriend. Then Sarah meets her mother at a cafe. Her mother gives her a collection of coins that Sarah collected when she was young. Then Sarah eats the coins and then vomits them out. It turns out that Sarah was dreaming. When she wakes up in the morning, she sees a lot of blood on her bed. Sarah goes to the doctor. Again, she vomits blood in front of the receptionist. This is the second time Sarah visits the doctor. While waiting for the test results, the doctor only asks Sarah to rest a lot and not drink alcohol. Sarah ignores the doctor's advice because she still drinks alcohol at night. The next morning, Peter tells Sarah via video call that she has a fatal disease. The hospital told Peter because Sarah's number could not be reached. Sarah goes to the hospital, and the doctor tells her that she has a rare disease with only a 2% chance of survival. The doctor also suggests Sarah to clone herself so that the people she will leave behind will not be sad because of losing her. Interested in the cloning program, she chooses to clone herself to replace her when she dies. Only people who have a terminal status or an incurable disease are allowed to join the cloning program. The next day, Sarah goes to the replacement center to join the cloning program. The process is quite easy, which is only by using saliva. The process also only takes an hour. Sarah now has a twin and she is named Sarah Clone. That name will be used as long as Sarah is alive. After that, Sarah gives basic knowledge about her interests and lifestyle to Sarah Clone. But Sarah does not tell her mother that she is seriously ill and will die because she does not want her mother to be sad. There is a slight difference in their bodies, namely that Sarah Clone does not have wrinkles on her face and her body is also not fat, unlike the original Sarah. Sarah also gets used to seeing Sarah Clone being intimate with Peter, who does not mind it at all. A few months later, Sarah receives shocking news from the doctor. Her disease is declared completely cured. Sarah has to deactivate her clone because by law only dying people are allowed to have clones. And now Sarah is completely cured. On the way home with her mother by car, Sarah screams because of depression. When she arrives home, she sees her mother, Peter, and Sarah clone sitting casually in the living room. They look close. Sarah tells them that she has recovered from her disease. Instead of being happy, Peter kicks Sarah out of the house. Sarah is rejected by Peter. And even her own mother also rejects her. They prefer Sarah clone over the original Sarah. When at home, Sarah receives a phone call that tells her that Sarah clone uses her right to stay alive. A lawyer explains to Sarah that according to the law, only one of them can continue to live. So they both have to join the duel show until death to determine who deserves to continue living as Sarah. The duel will be held in a year's time. In the span of one year, Sarah can use her time to practice martial arts. Sarah breaks up with Peter. She also signs up for a martial arts class, but with the cheapest fee. The martial arts class is taught by a teacher named Trent. During training, Trent teaches Sarah many things, including physical and mental skills. Trent really trains Sarah to kill her opponent, which is her own clone. One day after buying clothes that will be used for the duel, Sarah drops her phone and it cracks. Then Sarah meets Peter. She does not mean any harm to Peter, 
but she promises to kill Sarah clone mercilessly. A year passes and Sarah receives news that the duel show is postponed for a week. Sarah wants to continue training with Trent, but she has no money at all. Instead, Sarah teaches Trent hip-hop dancing. The next day, Trent asks Sarah to shoot his old dog with an arrow as proof that Sarah is ready. Trent explains that his dog is old and he doesn't mind if Sarah kills him. But Sarah can't do it and refuses. Soon after, Sarah shoots her arrow outside because she is watched by Sarah clone. Sarah chases her clone. She manages to find her in a small house in the park. Sarah clone tells the original Sarah that living with Peter and her mother is not as easy as she thought. Sarah clone also invites the original Sarah to a support group event. That place contains people who managed to kill their clones in the duel show, and since then life has not gotten any better. Finally, they both agree that they don't need to die, and their lives are both valuable. The next day they head to the border, they plan to escape through the forest. Before continuing their journey, Sarah Clone gives a bottle of water to the original Sarah to drink. In the middle of the forest, the original Sarah's nose bleeds because the water she just drank was poisoned by Sarah Clone. At the same time, the duel show is held. Sarah Clone goes to the field where the duel show is held, and she walks with a limp. To the referee, Sarah Clone claims herself as the original Sarah. She also changes all her clothes with those of the original Sarah. Sarah Clone says that her opponent has run away. Sarah Clone waves her hand at her mother and Peter, a sign that their plan has succeeded. Finally, the court decides that the original Sarah has the right to continue her life, even though she is actually Sarah Clone in disguise. Meanwhile, the original Sarah's whereabouts are unknown. When at home, Sarah Clone sees wrinkles on her face. She also feels fat on her body. After that, Peter offers her dinner, Mexican food. But Sarah Clone says she doesn't like Mexican food. This is a clue that she is Sarah Clone because the original Sarah likes Mexican food. Sarah Clone also does not answer a phone call from her mother. Her phone looks cracked. That phone is the original Sarah's phone. Then Sarah Clone goes out by driving her car, which is half destroyed. She looks pathetic when driving the car. And this is another clue that she is not the original Sarah because Sarah can drive. In the middle of the roundabout, Sarah Clone stops her car. She cries and the movie ends. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Because by subscribing you have supported me to make better videos. See you in the next video.